and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be proof that every time you try and upgrade something, something disastrous is going to happen. Yes, we'll talk about what has happened later in this video. <laughs> but this is the upgraded strawberry video, solar powered, hydroponics, bit of a disaster that you'll see in a second, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Well, it is a crazy hot day. This is the jungle we're going to upgrade. So this is the smaller little pipes. Obviously the plants have got way too big for them. We knew they would. My gutter system, which is completely overgrown at the moment, which I need to prune some of this passion fruit vine down. They're doing fine because they are huge, but they're now not getting enough light because of the passion fruit. So I'm gonna hack away at a whole lot of this passion fruit. I'm going to move all this stuff around and we're going to do a bigger system so this is all solar panelled solar panelled solar powered by the solar panel <laughs> so that is the solar panel there there's a solar pump in here hydroponic solution getting pumped up through this blue gutter which you can't even see at the moment and then back into here and it also pumps up there down there and then back in there so I'm going to upgrade this system super, super easy. We're gonna use pipe, which is a lot bigger than this PVC pipe. And we're gonna use the little pots that we used in our other sort of thing. Because this system, which is just a cheap eBay system, if you've seen any of my older videos, only comes with tiny little pots like that and they just slot in. That is it. So not much will grow in there apart from seedlings. So it worked fine when we had the smaller strawberries, but now they're bigger. They need bigger area for their roots, etc., etc. This port what corn here is the one that snapped off in the storm. It has lots of roots. It's just sitting in hydroponic solution. And if we quickly jump down here where the rest of the corn is, oh my God, look at the corn. Yeah, it is going crazy. We have lots of corn. Look at the corn. Oh, there's a cool ant. Are you a queen? I believe that is a queen ant. Oh, how cool is that? Let's zoom in for the queen. Polyrachnus. That is a polyrachnus queen. Usually I'm obsessed with queen ants, but we're just going to let her do her thing. Okay, now we're going to jump to what pipes and stuff we have. So this is just going to be a simple, simple, easy system. So just normal guttering, that sort of diameter. I am gonna drill holes in that and have the mesh pot sitting in it. But that is a lot bigger diameter than what we've currently got. I'm going to also obviously join them just the joiners, but I'm gonna put end caps on them. I'm gonna drill holes in the end caps. And then, oh, if I can pick that up with one hand. So drill holes in the end cap and have that sitting like that so I have water in the pipe permanently and then I can just have that with an elbow going down which ironically I did not buy any elbows and <laughs> let's hope I've got some elbows somewhere so that there with an elbow going down into the next one and then that way I've always got water in the pipes should work perfectly fine nice and easy there's little Benji what are you doing Oi. yeah side eye me so that is the whole idea. What we're going to do is assemble our pipe work and come back. And yes, everything has changed yet again. So this is sort of the design I've decided. So two big pipes here instead of the pipes that were up here. So the strawberry plants that were over there are now there. And yes, the pipes that were there are gone, but you can see the strawberries now. Yes, we've trimmed the giant passion fruit tree. Ah, so, very simple design. I have like the outtake of the pump, which used to go up there. It's just going to connect to that little nozzle there. The water is gonna go down here, through there, back there, down there, and then into our tub. Very, very simple. So if we jump around this bit, as long as this doesn't leak and my fittings didn't really fit properly because I drilled a hole that was too big because I don't measure anything. 
but that's okay, we modified. So we had to glue those little bits in place, but these are all fine. I reckon this will work because the water's gonna fill up halfway through and then go out, which will be the perfect depth for the pots. So next thing we're gonna do is drill holes in here, stick our pots in there, then we're gonna paint it because PVC pipe. Well, I'm definitely no good at drilling holes. Started off okay, but then towards the end, really gave up. <laughs> I need to invest in one of those hole cutting things. But that is what we have. That whole thing zip tied to the middle stand is going to go over here. And it is gonna go there. So let's get it in place. And a small problem. We have a leak, we have too much water. <laughs> so I need to modify that bit. And also I have a leak there. I know, so modify, slight better angle, fix the leaks, and then we should be good to go. Okay, this is the next morning and we have modified it again. So overnight, thinking about it, that whole side was completely stupid and pointless because I had the water level thing up and the water level thing up, so obviously the water had to build up here to go through there to build up again. It was just over engineering, so I only really needed it on the end bit because the water pumping through will just balance the water out. So I've cut off the end bit, I've attached just some normal elbows, which makes a lot more sense. That's not glued in, obviously, so you can hear dripping water <laughs> because we have not glued it but we've dumped our strawberries in here for today because it is time to go to work and we're just gonna leave this go. Probably gonna lose a fair bit of hydroponic solution today, but that is okay because we're about to redo the hydroponic solution. <sighs> so not ideal, a bit of a disaster, but it is what it is. I think once it all grows in, you're not gonna see how tacky or horrible this looks, but it will work. It will work nice and easy. So I've got all my little strawberries uh, in my little pots. They're just sitting in the solution, which is slowly going to be dripping out the whole day. At least with the solar pumps, they've got a safety switch off when it runs out of solution. So yeah, I'll probably come home to a dry tub, but that is okay. I know. So a few of these strawberry plants are a little bit mingy like that one there, but they will perk up now that I've got them in a better system. You can tell the difference between the ones that were had lots of room for the roots and the ones that did not have lots of room for the roots. Kind of crazy, but they grew stupidly fast. And another exciting thing about strawberries is we had a few dodgy little fruits like that one, obviously not enough nutrients. I buried the fruit and got more strawberry plants. I know, and now they are bigger. Whoops. And yes, that's what happens just before you have to go to work. Oh my God. So we are just going to leave this. I have two dodgy legs holding that up. We'll see if it survives the day. Maybe I'll be an update on this in a couple of days with just everything on the ground. <laughs> we have water dripping through because we have sun. It shouldn't go anywhere. I have wood there. Maybe I'll zip tie the legs to the stand. I'm gonna zip tie the legs to the stand and then I'm gonna to go to work. If you did enjoy this wonderful video on what not to do with hydroponic setups, click the thumbs up. <laughs> wow. Okay, otherwise, more things to see on the screen. We'll see you in a few days or so once we sort out this nightmare. Happy days. Ha, 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 ha.